Hey everybody, this is White Bone Knives. Um, I had a couple users uh, request that I make a video about how I made my grinder. Um, I only spent about $400 on this whole unit, uh, stand included, and uh, all the aluminum wheels. Um, the platen is actually just two pieces of sheet metal uh, surrounding a piece of three quarter inch plywood. And I screwed that in and glued it down. It's not the most solid thing, but it does the job. I mean, it got me started in the knife making, and it's, I think it's a lot nicer than a 1x42 belt grinder. Um, the motor I have is a treadmill motor. Um, it's a 2 horsepower. It's not the most powerful motor in the world, but like I said, I mean, I was just starting up, and it's not a bad grinder for, uh, you know, just a starter knife maker. Um, the frame, I got most of this from Lowe's. Uh, some of the uh, pieces like this, the bar up here for the tracking. Um, that one, that, that, those pieces and this piece were from the treadmill that I bought off a guy. And you could probably get it, this grinder right here for a lot cheaper than I did. Um... I, it ended up to be about four hundred dollars though. Uh, let's see. Some of the or my tool rest is held on by a couple clamps, and I wanted it to be clamps because if I ever have to take this off and use the full length of the platen, that would be nice. Uh, I didn't want to weld it on just for. I just wanted that accessibility to you know take it off or put it on whenever I wanted to. Um, uh, this is how I turn it on. This is just the board from the treadmill. Um, and it's got the variable speed. So I can crank it up. Basically, to a pretty fast speed. Um, I never have to crank it up all the way, though. I actually keep it around this level um, when I'm doing my bevel cuts and sometimes a little lower on my uh, on my sharpening but um, if we take a look underneath here it's kind of a jumbled mess but so forgive me for that but um it's, uh, the board's all underneath here, and I labeled everything before I took the treadmill apart and numbered them, like, 1 through 15 or something, whatever's on here. Um, you know, 1 goes to 1, just so you guys don't get them confused, uh, if this is what you're gonna be doing. Um, there was a couple wires that I, that I actually lost the masking tape on, so <laughs> I had to do a little bit of playing around with it, so I'm just thankful it didn't go down on me for whatever reason, but uh, yeah, so that's the board. Um, all this is bolted onto another three-quarter inch sheet of plywood, and then on the top, I put a piece of sheet metal on, and the reason I put the sheet metal down here and on the platen was just so I wouldn't be burning anything. <laughs> um, I've had no problems with it so far. And I've made, you know, nearly... Uh, maybe eight knives total on it so far. Uh, maybe more than that. Maybe around ten or twelve knives. Uh, I've, I've never had a problem with burning. You can see there's no scorching or anything. Uh... Yeah, even right down here, where it's going to be coming out, it's all, I mean, it's a little dirty, but it's not, like, burnt or anything. Nothing ever burns on it. Um, my, uh, tracking, I just took a bar and, uh, put the spring down here, so that way you can put your belts on, and that'll be your tension for your belts. Um... Right up here, I put a hinge, and that'll be tracking my belts. I can pull it out this way to 
track left and then push it out to track right uh, whatever it needs to be um, with the platen uh, I just took the uh, just a piece of two I think it was two by I'm not sure about the length but it's just a two inch piece of metal right here and then just uh, stripped out and ground smooth if you can see that it's pretty smooth along there I didn't want to get one of those carbon platens because it's just I don't want to have to deal with all that denting and everything I've been using this one for a while and there's no signs of wear through here <clears throat> uh, let's see oh and uh Okay, and also, right here on the platen, it can be inserted and removed, the whole thing. And it'll come out by these two pieces of bar stock. Um, or box iron, sorry. Um, you can see right here, I just have a couple set screws. And that's just to keep those in place. Um, I have two on the other side as well. And those are just welded in. I just welded in a uh, nut and then screwed the bolts in and then that locks it in um, I'll go ahead and put the belt on there for you so you can see how well it tracks okay now that the belts on there we're gonna start it up I'll just do it at a low speed So, there's a little bit of play in there, um, which I don't think it's too bad for, I mean, considering what it is and what I made it all out of. Uh, it tracks pretty good. I usually never have a uh, problem with my plunges or uh, um, right there on the ricasso of the knife. And um, they always come out really, really nice, so I'm not too worried about if it's got that much. Uh, wiggle in it. It's not too bad. Yeah, so that's about it, guys. Um, just if you'd like to do something like this, it's really not that bad. You just gotta kind of get out there and do it. But um, this has been another White Bone Knives video, guys. So thanks for watching.